So let's get right into it. Myth number one is that relationships are too much hard work and they take up way too much time. Now we're talking about myths. So these are things that are simply not true. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I am not a big fan of people saying that things are hard. Let me explain, okay? So when people say, oh, my relationship is hard. Oh, my marriage is hard. That's hard work. That's hard, hard, hard. Listen. The way that we process things and the way that our brain works, our thoughts impact our feelings, our feelings impact our behaviors, our behaviors impact our outcome. I'm going to say that again for the people in the back. You didn't know that you were going to get a a therapy lesson for today. You didn't know that you were going to get a therapy lesson for today. So here it is again. Your thoughts impact your feelings. Your feelings impact your behaviors. Your behaviors impact your outcome. So if you think that something is hard, it is challenging, it cannot ever, 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 ever be done, you're going to feel like it can't be done, which means you are not going to work at it, which means you're not going to get the result. So when people say that relationships are so hard, I want to encourage us to use a different set of adjectives. Instead of saying my marriage is hard, instead of saying relationships are hard, instead of saying parenting is hard, instead of saying my job is hard, can we use another word there? Can we replace that with maybe even something like the word challenging? And when I think of the word challenge, I think of a different mindset. So typically, if someone challenged you to something, say, for instance, I was going to challenge you into to a foot race. I probably wouldn't because I would lose and I'm getting old and my knees is just not the same. My my knees is just not the same, nor is my back, my neck and my back. But anyway, so if someone challenged you to a race or someone challenged you to a sing off or someone challenged you to a board game or something of that nature, nine times out of 10, you are going to arrive to the occasion and to see if that person can beat you or if you can beat that person, right? Typically, most people on average do not back down from a challenge when they feel like something might be challenging. But when we start to think about hard, hard work, it's so hard, it puts you in a mind frame that you don't even want to try. Let's be real. If you think that something is hard, you're going to feel like it's hard. And you're like, I'm not even going to put any more work, time or energy into this because it's not going to get better. It's not going to improve. Nothing's going to change. So why even put an effort here? Right. And if we have that same mentality and that same mindset about relationships being hard and hard work, then guess what? A lot of us are not putting in the time and the energy that we need to have a healthy relationship because we don't think it's going to be better. We do not think it's going to be better or get better. So I want us to change our language. I don't want us to think that relationships, marriages, all of these things are hard work or it takes too much time because it doesn't. If you desire to be in a healthy, committed, long lasting relationship, you got time. You got time, you got energy, and you should if that's something that you desire. We always work towards things that we want, right? If you're career driven, you work hard towards the goal, right? If you're career driven, you work towards that goal. If you want to be a parent, you work at being a great parent. You work at these things and it's never too much time, energy, effort into those things. So why would we say, negative things about relationships. So I need for us to change our language here. Stop saying relationships are hard.